Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of uh, Konoa Dual Phantomar. So we're in the uh, wind ruins today and this is probably the area that has my favourite um, music in it. Uh, it's very cool, very nice and there's not too much new stuff like new enemies or anything. We've got these weird kind of spinny um, pink and green things. But they're quite easy to figure out, you just have to drop an enemy in the middle to kill them. It's very easy. Um, and they kind of remind me of that boss that we just fought actually, the big kind of pod, seed pod boss enemy thing. Uh, we have to drop an enemy in the middle of it. They're quite similar to that, so they're not too difficult. Um, and this area I think is quite short, I don't, think, I don't remember it being very long, but um, it's quite nice, I like the, the kind of background and the scenery and that kind of thing. It's like quite a cool area. So here I get a checkpoint and hopefully get this guy and then get these gems. We get double the score for that, which is good. And then make our way back up. Up this guy, up here, shoot him. So you can see this image in the background on the wall. It's got um, like the moon and then kind of a triangle, and on each of the corners of the triangle is a symbol. And that's kind of gonna play into some of the story later. I guess it's kind of like an Easter egg, but not really. Um, but yeah, but I won't spoil it now, but you'll see, it'll make sense a bit further on in the game. But just remember it, if you can. So I can't quite remember where to go. I think I want to go up to this area. It may not look like it, but this is actually a way back inside. And we get some gems and maybe a prisoner up there. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, if I grab this guy... And then grab this guy, and then I can hit that, and then there we go, saved another prisoner. So that's two out of six, nearly there, and try not to fall all the way down. Should be kind of annoying. Now finally we can move on from that area. So here we have one of these big things, but it, it will die just the same as the little ones. And of course just spews gems everywhere when it dies. And these enemies are new as well, but they are pretty much the same as the the like bugs that shoot the spiky balls out of their bums. But these guys, um, they have a shell, so you can't hit them until they look out like that. But they'll just shoot, you know, the same as the other ones. So hopefully I can get up here. Um, so these platforms just fall away when you step in them, and because it's kind of slippery. The, all the platforms in this game are slippery, so every time I land on it I just slide off. So that's why I'm having so much trouble doing it. But hopefully this time I'll get it. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about that again. <laughs> so let's just go up here. Shoot that guy. And move along here. So, for this, I think we just use this guy to drop, maybe. Um, or is there like a secret down here? I can't quite remember, there might be a... Um, no, there isn't. I thought there might be a um, invisible egg, but there isn't. So I'll just continue back up here, and we'll use this guy to jump across and drop him on the prisoner and free him. Just like that. So we have these ghosts as well, which uh, you can hit, but they will just come back after some amount of time. You know, kind of usual ghost video game behaviour, you know, you can kind of get rid of them, but you can't kill them because obviously they're already dead. Uh, and the other enemies that you just saw was with the, um, the kind of fiery orbs that were sort of flying around it. 
And they just, when they see you, the fiery orbs will kind of move out away from them. So you can just jump in and drop an enemy on them or just jump in and hit them. It's very easy. So yeah, so you see the fire goes out and then you can just hit them. So nothing too difficult. So just jump across here. These guys in the background that are shooting the spiky balls at us are really annoying. But hopefully I can navigate around this and get up here. I don't know what's up here. Oh, it's just a gem. Uh, I'll try and get it anyway. Come on! No! <laughs> I'm gonna keep on trying. Yeah, there we go. Can I kill this guy? Nah, just leave it. And continue on, get some more gems. So I have 19 lives at the moment, which is pretty good. But, um, you know, hopefully, well, there's one there, so I have 20. It's even better. But, like I've said before, a lot of the levels later on have some really tricky platforming puzzles, so I'm probably going to lose a lot of them later on. So it's good if you can kind of get a bit of a stash of lives early on, and then on the later levels you don't have to worry so much. There's lots of ghosts. Oh, no way. This part can be kind of annoying, you've got to jump on these weird platforms. And it's getting this prisoner, which can be kind of difficult. Because many times, as a kid anyway, I would jump up to get the prisoner and the platform would move from under me and I'll just fall. It's very annoying. It'll probably happen to me here as well. At least once. So hopefully I can get this prisoner as well. If I time it right. Oh no! No! Oh no. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if they designed that purpose for you so you fell on that platform and just. just to troll you even more. But it's okay. We can do this. So get that guy again. Come through here, deal with the. next swinging platform. I guess I'm meant to use this bird, yeah, and just shoot it. Is it gonna come back? No? Okay, fine, whatever. And that's it. Vision 4, 1 clear. So let's see if the music's changed. Managed to save everyone, luckily. Yeah, the song's progressed a bit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!